हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू माय चैनल वेट लेक्चर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस ऑन वेटनरी एक्सटेंशन क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट द मेथोडोलॉजी फॉर एक्सेलरेटेड रूलर डेवलपमेंट इंक्लूड्स ऑप्शन ए इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इन एग्रीकल्चर ऑप्शन बी प्रोमोटिंग मार्केटिंग सपोर्ट फॉर रूरल एरिया ऑप्शन सी स्किल फॉर्मेशन एंड स्किल अपग्रेडिंग फॉर रूरल एरिया और ऑप्शन डी ऑल the right answer is option d that is all okay the methodology for accelerated rural development includes all that is increasing the productivity and volume of production in agriculture as well as promoting marketing support for rural area also focusing on skill formation skill upgrading for rural area let's see some other facts about rural development since rural development program should be uh, planned according with that uh, local interest and the rural development program uh, should be formed to meet either uh, short term long term and emerging changes for that rural development cottage industry play a significant role because uh, they are capable of providing full time and part time employment to rural people which helps to rural people to supplement their income and they are specifically suitable for that rural area for that uh, rural development both conductive ecology and development is essential because rural lifestyle has close link with nature and its resources and for all round development of the rural people it is only achieved by mean of extension education question number second which of the following statement about joint family system of rural area is correct option a joint families are always a cause option b joint families are both an impediment and a factor of rural development option c there are no joint families in rural area option d joint families are the only factor of rural development the right answer is option b that is joint families are both an impediment and a factor of rural development on the basis of a membership or internal organization uh, families are categorized into two types nuclear family and joint family nuclear family includes husband wife and their children while joint family composed of two or more nuclear family there is a note that nuclear family may be large if the number of children is more and a joint family may be small if the number of children are less question number 3 the period of stage 2 of a community development block was option a 10 year option b 5 year option c 7 year option d 2 year the right answer is option b that is 5 year a community development block passes uh, through four stages of development first stage is pre extension stage which lasts for about 1 year uh, the main function of this pre extension stage were to conduct agriculture demonstration to survey that block area to prepare ground for that other intensive stages second stage is stage 1 block which lasts for about 5 year mainly are uh, characterized by intensive development take place in this stage in in this stage followed by stage uh, second block which also lasts for 5 year and the last stage was post stage second block which is a permanent block and follow up block too question number 4 which of the following given below is not true option a program planning is educational process option b program planning is a spontaneous process option c program planning is coordinating process option d program planning is a continuous process the right answer is option b that is program planning is a spontaneous process there are principle of program planning that is program planning is a continuous process program planning is an coordinated process and it's a coordination between resources and, and people program planning is an educational process program planning is a teaching learning process program planning is a democratic process and if we see that steps in extension program planning first steps are like collection fact we collect fact all about where we going to do that extension program second we analyze the situation um, either this extension program is um, uh, happen properly or not okay we analyze the situation where we are going to that uh, do that extension program and after analyzing the situation we identify the problem of that rural area and then after identify the problem we decide on objective uh, why we should um, develop a plan of work and then uh, according to that uh, objective we develop a plan of work and according to plan we execute the plan and uh, during um, the execution process we determine either it is a progressing according to plan or not and after that uh, the ending of that program uh, if it is a uh, done properly or if it is a fruitful one and we reconsider it it as well okay 
there is a note that the program which are taken up in the village and a small industry sector are mainly uh, promotional in nature question number 5 concentration on a rational structure with universal application in social institution is option a autocracy option b bureaucracy option c anarchy option d monarchy the right answer is option a that is autocracy autocracy is a system of a government in which absolute power is given in the hand of one person okay while bureaucracy is also known as government of non elected official where most of that important decision are taken by that state officials rather than elected representative and while anarchy is simply a condition where absence of government and monarchy is a form of government in which uh, that at a head position uh, is a monarch or king okay question number 6 in training and visit system or binor system or we can see tnv system how many number of farmer were selected from 100 found families option a 20 option b 25 option c 15 option d 10 the right answer is option d that is 10 in training and visit system or we can see binor system or tnv system 10 number of farmer were selected from 100 found family while 8 number of agriculture extension worker are posted at block level This TNV system was developed by World Bank expert Daniel Binor. The system is based on frequent uh, training of extension worker and regular field visit for onward guiding the farmer in agriculture production and raising their income. In the system that uh, training are imparted at two phase. First level is that middle level officers of department of agriculture was trained by master trainer followed by that uh, this middle level officer trained grassroots extension worker. and after that getting the training this grassroots extension worker transfer their knowledge and skill to the contact farmer through regular field visit and this contact farmer in turn share this knowledge to 10 to 15 fellow farmer question number 7 an extension worker while extending scientific knowledge to the farmer start with option a lecture option b practical demonstration option c distribution of leaflet option d all the right answer is option b that is practical demonstration an extension worker while extending scientific knowledge to the farmer should start with practical demonstration question number 8 the idea of having a village guide in each village for introducing new skill among the rural people was introduced by option a r n tagore option b b p pant option c mahatma gandhi option d f l brenew the right answer is option b that is b p pant okay the idea of having that a village guide which can guide that every villager and also convince for that introducing new skill among the rural people it's actually introduced by bp pant questions number 9 when the villager cooperates with the extension officer at different level in implementing the new program it is known as the principle of option a satisfaction option b implementation option c cooperation option d none the right answer is option c that is cooperation when a villager actually in this uh, principle of cooperation since uh, the villager cooperate with that extension officer in implementing the new program so it is comes under that principle of cooperation so uh, uh, while that when an extension program is successfully successfully completed and a farmer and his family member are satisfied by solving the problem and getting a new idea then it is come under that principle of satisfaction Question number ten: The farmer who adopts the new technology just after hearing is called option A, early adopter; option B, innovator; option C, awareness; option D, laggards. The right answer is option A, that is early adopter. Okay. On the basis of uh, innovativeness, adopter are a following type. First is that innovator, which is an starting two point five percent of people who comes under innovator. These innovators are also called experimenter. as they always try out new idea before anyone else in their community second is that early adopter 13.5% of people comes under early adopter they are not the person who test the new innovation first hand but the quickest one to use the already tried idea in their own situation followed by early majority which uh, which include 34% of the people they adopt the new idea only after they are convinced about the value of an innovations 
followed by late late majority which include 34% of that people and they adopt the new idea just after that average member of the social system have adopted and last one is the lagard which is a late adopter which include 16% of that uh, people they are the one who are highly conservative and resist to change and don't take any risks and when the lagard finally adopt an innovation it may already have been uh, superseded by another uh, more recent idea which our innovator are already using since that when lagard start to use that innovation then at the time that innovator already starting using new innovations questions number 11 caste is a class gained by which of the following option a status option b birth option c power option d social relation the right answer is option b that is birth caste is a class gained by birth while uh, let's see some other uh, related facts like uh, drums okay uh, that ethnicity ethnicity is actually the feeling of uh, that a certain group that they belong to culturally actually a separate group or custom language ancestor and so they are different from that other group that feeling is known as ethnicity while uh, status uh, is a position of an individual in a group okay while role is a set of socially expected and approved behavior pattern consisting of both duty as well as privilege associated with a particular position in a group and uh, customs include uh, the accepted way of either eating clothing talking training uh, children and youth supporting agents extra are called the customs of the society and uh, while norm is a rule uh, which is prescribing how to behave in a particular situation for example dress code in a party eating three meals in a day wearing uniform in a school extra well, value is a conception of a desirable or a standard of evolution which act as a guide for decision making. While belief is what people believe or what people trust, that is belief. Question number 12. Dash answer 4W and 1H. Option A, calendar of work. Option B, program. Option C, plan of work. Option D, program planning. The right answer is option C, that is plan of work. Plan of work actually answer the 4W and 1H. 4W that is what, who, where, when, why and how. Actually that plan is that outline of all extension activity. So arrange as to enable efficient execution of that entire program. While calendar of a work is a plan of work chronologically arrange extension activity activities. Okay. While project is an outline of the procedures and pertain only to some phase of extension work. And program is an statement of a situation, objective, problems and solution. And program planning is also defined as a process of preparing a systematic line of action for achieving certain overall and specific objective in relation to needs and resource. Okay. Question number 13. Family composed of mother, father and unmarried children comes under option A, nuclear family, option B, joint family, option C, polyandrous family, option D, polygynous family. The right answer is option A, that is nuclear family. Let's see some types of family. On the basis of authority, families are of three types, that is patriarchal, matriarchal, equilibrium. Patriarchal family is those family where authority is lied on male member of family. And matriarchal family is those family where authority lies on female member of family. And equilibrium families is those family where authority lies equally on both. Okay, on the basis of descent, these families are also of three types, patrilineal, matrilineal and bilateral. Patrilineal is a person when is affiliated with a group of relatives which are related to him through his father. Then it's not as patrilineal. And matrilineal is a, when a person is affiliated to the relative from mother's side. Then it's matrilineal family. And a person is affiliated to the relative from both sides is known as bilateral family. On the basis of residence, it is also three types. That is patrilocal, matrilocal and bilocal. If the newly married couple live with the parents of bridegroom, then it's patrilocal family. If the newly married couple live with the parents of bride, it's matrilocal family. And in bilocal family, there's a choice for the couple to stay either with the groom parents or with the bride's parents. Okay. On the basis of membership or internal structure, there's a two type, nuclear family and joint family. Nuclear family actually composed of husband, wife and their children. Joint family is composed of two or more nuclear family. Okay? Question number 14. Which value exists in ruler family? Option A. Secure. Option B. Secular. Option C. Rigid. Option D. Flexible. The right answer is option A. That is secure. 
value is actually a conception of a desirable or a standard of evaluation which act as a guide for decision making in case of like ruler family there's always a fixed value that is secured value exists in a uh, ruler family while secular value exists in a urban family which accept uh, like changes as well question number 15 which of the following is a basic unit of stratification of society option a class option b caste option c money option d both a and b the right answer is option d that is both a and b social stratification is a process by which individuals or a groups are ranked in a more or less enduring hierarchy of status okay if we see the dimension of social stratification there is a economic dimension political dimension social dimension economic dimension related to that uh, wealth money property political dimension related to the politics and military power social dimension refer to that respect in a society okay basis of that social stratification there are two type of uh, basis for that social stratification that is caste based stratification and class based stratification the caste based stratification is based on birth the population is divided in actually four uh, category that is brahmin kshatri vaisya shudra in order of their highest to lowest the brahmin caste stand as the highest rank whereas the shudra is at the lowest rank in the stratification by caste and class based stratification when the group or individuals are divided on the basis of their economic resource power prestige wealth position etc there are actually three classes upper classes middle classes and lower classes okay question number 16 which is compulsive social control element option a law option b mores option c folk way option d norms the right answer is option a that is law compulsive social control elements law situational social control elements more informal social control element folk way bound social control elements norms codifications of mores that is law question number 17 elements of behavior responsible for to know is option a cognition option b affection option c conation option d none the right answer is option a that is cognition that that element of behavior which is responsible for to know that is cognition elements of behavior which is responsible for to feel that is affection an element of behavior which is responsible for behavior after affection that is conation okay question number 18 to make a fix image of an individual on previous knowledge experience and skill is known as option a stereotype option b karyotype option c ideotype option d homotype the right answer is option a that is stereotype to make a fix image of an individual on previous knowledge experience and skill is known as a stereotypes and if you make an image a negative image of an individual on a previous knowledge experience and skill that is known as prejudice okay question number 19 response of audience back to communicator is option a fidelity option b feedback option c perception option d communication gap the right answer is option b that is feedback response of audience back to the communicator is known as feedback while a uh, faithful performance of a communication process by all its elements like uh, uh, that is communicator channel and then receiver that is known as uh, that is state known as fidelity while process by which individual maintain contact with its environment that is known as perception and difference between that uh, communicated matter of that extension agent and the received matter of that audience that is known as communication gap okay question number 20 sample which represent the whole object is known as option a specimen option b model option c diorama option d miniature the right answer is option a that is specimen sample which represent the whole object that is known as a specimen while a uh, model is that uh, miniature replica of the object and diorama is a scenic representation of original Question number twenty-one: Line drawing of an object or idea is known as option A diagram, option B map, option C chart, option D graph. The right answer is option A, that is diagram. That is line diagram, line drawing of an object or idea, that is known as diagram. While map is the information drawing of an idea, chart is that information in a tabular form, and if it that pictorial representation of an algorithm, that is known as flow chart. While graph is a diagrammatic representation of relationship between. different variable variables question number 
मोस्ट कॉमन यूज स्लाइड इज ऑफ विच साइज ऑप्शन ए एट एम एम ऑप्शन बी सिक्सटीन एम एम ऑप्शन सी थर्टी फाइव एम एम और ऑप्शन डी सेवेंटी एम एम द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज थर्टी फाइव एम एम द मोस्ट कॉमन यूज स्लाइड इज ऑफ साइज ऑफ थर्टी फाइव एम एम वाइल मोस्ट कॉमन यूज स्लाइड फॉर एक्सटेंशन वर्क इज सिक्सटीन एम एम ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री डिसीजन टू मेक फुल यूज ऑफ एन इनोवेशन इज नॉन एज ऑप्शन ए इंटरेस्ट ऑप्शन बी डिजायर ऑप्शन सी अडोप्शन ऑप्शन डी सेटिस्फेक्शन The right answer is option C. That is adoption. Decision to make full use of an innovation. That is adoption, and uh, that is a degree of certainty of receiving expected benefit from the adoption of that innovation is known as predictability. And when an individual uh, form a favorable or unfavorable attitude toward the innovation, that is known as persuasions. Decision to uh, not adopt an innovation. That is known as rejection. Decision to put an innovations in use that is known as implementation. Question number twenty four. Present status of affair is known as option A. What ought to be? Option B. What could be? Option C. What is? Or option D. None. The right answer is option C. That is what is. Present status of affair is what is. Concept given by research known as what could be or realistic selected goal that is what ought to be. Question number twenty-five. Which of the following has two, three unbounded sheet on related topic? Option A. That is bulletin. Option B. Pamphlet. Option C. Leaflet. Option D. Circular letter. The right answer is option B. That is pamphlet. Pamphlet actually a single sheet of unfolded paper containing information on only one sub important subject or topic. While a leaflet also a single sheet of paper that is dealing with one important problem or topic, but it is folded many times, more than fold fold. Okay. while folder is also same as leaflet but it's contain more than four fold booklet and bulletin is a bulkier printed matter containing number of pages while circular letter is a letter which is uh, uh, reproduce and send with the sample informations to many people by the extension worker to publicize an extension activities like exhibitions meeting fairs etc or to provide timely informations on problem related to farms and home okay question number 26 What is the influence of personal contact method on adoption? Option A, fifteen to sixteen percent. Option B, seventeen to eighteen percent. Option C, nineteen to twenty percent. Option D, twenty-one to twenty-two percent. The right answer is option B, that is seventeen to eighteen percent. Let's see some influence on adoptions of people. Personal contact has seventeen to eighteen percent influence. Method demonstration has fifteen percent influence. Result demonstration has less than five percent influence on adoption. Radio has only one percent influence on adoptions, while telephone call has less than one percent influence on adoptions process. Okay. Question number twenty-seven. If you believe is saying that first impression count, you agree with principle of option A, primary effect; option B, halo effect; option C, least impressed effect; or option D, the recency effect. The right answer is option A, that is primary effect. If we believe in saying that first impression count, we agree with the principle of primary effect. According to that principle of a primary effect, the tendency to recall information. Uh, which is presented at the start of the list is better at than the information at the middle or end uh, similarly second is that according to the principle of recency the tendency for people to recall easily uh, items that are presented last in the list is more effective and according to the halo effect the tendency uh, that uh, positive impression of a person company brand or product in one area is positively influence one opinion or feeling in another area Halo effect is uh, the name given to the phenomenon where evaluators tend to be influenced by their previous judgment of performance or personality. Okay, and the principle of least interest suggests that the person who is least interested in maintaining a relationship can most easily walk away from the relationship. Okay. Question number twenty-eight. Prediction of future performance is the intent of option A, achievement test; option B, aptitude test; option C, group test; option D, culture bias test. The right answer is option B, that is aptitude test. Okay, prediction of a future performance is the intent of aptitude test. Actually, achievement test is the test which measure an in how an individual learn at, over time and what the individual has learned. Okay, the aim of this achievement te test is to determine that uh, the student knowledge in a specific subject area. While aptitude test is done mainly done in an office level uh, to pretend the how able that uh, the Uh, elected uh, candidate can perform after after appointing okay uh, ability through a variety of in this aptitude test uh, the aptitude test will test uh, that uh, ability to perform tasks and react to the situation at work this include problem solving prioritization numerical skill 
okay well cultural bias test occur in a testing materials which mainly uh, which which test items uh, that assess knowledge or experience that are specific to certain culture okay question number 29 how much one generally retain after reading a book option a 10% option b 20% option c 30% option d 40% the right answer is option a that is 10% one generally retain after reading a book is 10% while lecture person retain only 5% audio visual aid uh, 20% if the person see uh, by mean of demonstration then uh, demonstrant think they return up to 30% uh, if they do group discussion, they retain 50%. Okay. If they practice by doing, then if they retain uh, that thing 75%. And if they're teaching other what they learn, then they return 90%. Okay. Question number 30. A hunch guess, imaginative idea, which become the basis of action of investigation is called option A, hypothesis, option B, thesis, option C, research objective, option D, theory. The right answer is option A, that is hypothesis. A hunch guess, imaginative idea which become the basis of action or investigation that is hypothesis. Hypothesis testing refer to the systemic and scientific method of examining whether the hypothesis test by the researcher is valid or not. There are two type of hypothesis that is null hypothesis which assume that there does not exist any relationship between the variable under investigation while the alternate hypothesis which confirm that association between the variable under investigation. Okay. Question number 31. Research by psychologist indicates that individual learns a new skill, bit of knowledge or a set of facts through a learning process that when plotted over time follow a normal curve and this curve can be called option A interaction effect curve, option B learning curve, option C teaching curve or option D adoption curve. The right answer is learning curve. Okay. Research by psychologist indicate that uh, individual learn a new skill bit of knowledge or a set of facts through a learning process that when plotted over time follow a normal curve and this curve can be called as learning curve okay interaction uh, effect uh, indicate that a third uh, variable influence the relationship between that uh, two that independent and dependent variable while learning curve is a graphical representation of that relationship between how uh, proficient uh, people are at a task and that uh, uh, amount of experience they have okay to show that the relationship between that proficiency in a task and then amount of experience uh, they show by that learning curve interaction curve so that uh, the there's a third variables uh, influence of the third variables in the relationship between independent and dependent variable while adoption curve is actually SF curve we show the different category of adoptions in the stages uh, along the growth cycle like innovator early adopter early majority late majority laggards most of the growth occurs during the early and late majority stage. Okay. That's much for today.